Hey guys, Trust Ted, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. I'm here with Kyle, and we're gonna be showing you a really unique product for mainly the Model Y, correct? Yeah. 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 And um, so this is something that's really ideal for campers, but it's also could potentially be useful for a lot of other trades where you want some storage and flexibility with your Model Y. So let's get into it. All right, so this is actually my Model Y, and what I want to do is just show you the install. So not really all that difficult, but let's just sort of take you through. So basically, Kyle, we, we take this off, right? Yeah, so if we're installing okay, yep. this kit in your car, yep. you take out these lids for the uh, the trunk yep. and the, uh, the mid-trunk. Yep. We take those out, and the kit just installs on these two factory rails. So it's got these little notches. Yep, the notch in here uh, built on in. each side. Right, and yep. so the kit just rests on those. It wedges in pretty snugly. Yep. Um, and then it gives you full access to your uh, your trunk down here. Well, so obviously, I mean, mine isn't accessible, <laughs> but because of the modern spare. But you obviously, that's a great part of the design is that you can actually get into the sub trunk right. even when you have it installed. And right. we'll show you that shortly. So basically, there's no screws to put in here. It just rests on these notches. Right, yeah, you can just pull it right out and your factory setup's untouched. Um, you get full access to the rear trunk here and it gives you a nice way to store stuff in your car and keeps it clean. Great, all right, let's uh, go take a look and see all the capabilities that it offers. All right, so to just give you guys a little bit more uh, specifics, this piano hinge is already gonna be installed. What kind of screws are you gonna have to put in? So Kyle, correct me, but these two middle ones, there's a railing that's supported there. Yeah. And then you're gonna have to put the, um, whoops, the uh, screw in for the sides on the rails. Right. So, so those rails would have to get installed. These rails have four screws each that connect them to the, uh, the side legs. So that's eight. Yep. And then it is actually all six of these, so two oh, on either okay. side. Two on either side, two, two in, in the, the middle, middle and two over there. Two the so that's side. what you need to do to install. Very straightforward. All right, Kyle, let's go through and show everybody the functionality of Frugal. Sure, so this is the Frugal light kit. It's 40% uh, lower than the original one. So Jimmy initially came out with the larger one that was built for longer journeys, um, multi-week expeditions, or if you're full-time living out of your car like Jimmy is. Uh, this is a light version, so it's perfect for people who are just going on weekend journeys, who just want to store some camping stuff in the back, mm -hmm. or if they're wanting to store their trade stuff, so if they're an electrician or a parent wanting to be more organized, uh, this is perfect for that. So uh, what it does, we talk the install in your vehicle, but basically when you install it, it, it kind of locks into the two factory rails here on the sides. Uh, when you install it, it's very simple to install. Um, I did it by myself in less than an hour. And uh, what's neat about it is you get this full drawer. So these slides lock and it pulls out all the way. Uh, he designed it around these induction cooktops. So these are electric cooktops uh, that you can wire into either an inverter like I have with a secondary battery or a portable power station. And these allow you to cook right out of the back of your Tesla. Very easy, very clean, no gas. Um, no emissions. Yeah, and so that. this is about how deep would you say this drawer is? Uh, three, four inches. Maybe three, three, three to four inches deep. Yeah. Okay, so you can store different things in there. Right. Yep. And okay. So this drawer comes all the way out, so I've got some food stuffs in here, which yep. I'm using. Uh, You're obviously camping. Ramen, yeah. <laughs> We're using this. We were in Moab last week, camping out of it. I just got yep. my water set up in it yep. this week. Um, and oh, okay. Awesome, yeah, so that flips up with just a magnetic latch yeah, there. Yeah, two magnetic okay. latches and a full piano hinge across it. And yep. that gives you full access That's to the sub trunk. To your sub so trunk. So you just yeah. go on the side like he is, or um, I was just standing, and then yeah. you can reach in and get you know anything you want out of the sub trunk. So I've got my so chairs, that's terrific. compressor, yep. some recovery gear, winch supplies in there. Yep. And this is something that no other product did on the market, and was one of the reasons Jimmy built this. Uh, one thing that's also neat is in the drawers, he built these little pockets here in the drawers yep. where your chopsticks yep. can fly out, yep. but you can also plumb electrical. Yeah, if, you have, if you have an inverter, you can water. actually have full power. Yeah, so you can plumb yep. that right into the drawer. Yep. Um, and it just makes it super easy to, to get into your car, to use the storage, and to keep it hidden. So if you've got all of this tucked in, nobody can tell what's in here. They look in the window, yep. you see a piece of wood, Nobody's going to break in for a piece of plywood, I think. <laughs> I don't think we're that desperate yet. But it just keeps it hidden, out of sight, out of mind. Um, Great. And, and organized. So 
It's a huge benefit. Thank you, appreciate you giving me that right. over. Kyle, why don't you walk me through how you would use this and the additional functionality, whether you're like camping or um, on a daily use. 100%, so uh, when you're camping, uh, you can see up here folded up is my, my tri-fold mattress, and that's sitting on the middle section of the frugal camper kit light. Um, I would unfold my mattress and that would give me over six feet of uh, room to, uh, to lay out on and it's a ton of space. And then when you're done camping, um, you can see like I did here, fold the mattress up, pull that into the back and then that middle section can actually be removed and uh, you can fold the back seats up and leave this unit in there. So it gives you tons of flexibility if you wanna go camping, if you just wanna use it for weekend use. So um, you could just, you could have four people, you could have the back seats up and then just this front section here could still be installed. 100%, yeah, and this is great because like I said, you get access to the trunk still. You can also stack stuff on top of it. So this is plywood, it's sturdy. I sleep on this, I was on it last night. Uh, it's been a week in Moab sleeping on this. So it's extremely sturdy. You can still stack all your kids stuff on there, all your, your goodies with the back seats up with three kids in the back. So super, super flexible. Awesome. All right, one more thing about the frugal camper kit that I wanted to mention is that Jimmy is also working on a similar kit for the Rivian R1S. So if you're interested in that, check them out at Frugal Fabrications or teslacamping.com. Uh, we gave you an overview on everything that's available, the functionality for the Frugal. Um, so this product is gonna be available in the May timeframe. Um, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be discounted uh, initially, which is great. Um, the list pricing is 1500 Canadian. That's roughly around 1100 US, and it will be a further discount off of that. So um, definitely go and check that out. We'll provide the link for you in the description below. Any last things you want to say about it? You've been living with it literally for a while. What, do you, what, what else would you say to the uh, folks if they're thinking about it? I think if you're at all interested in camping with your Tesla and making it more comfortable and more functional, uh, this is a great bargain and a great value for getting into that. I mean, I started camping in my Tesla because I love road tripping. And it just seems silly to stay in a hotel at 11 o'clock at night for four hours or six hours. So yeah. it just makes it super easy to get out and camp, to store stuff, to bring your tools and your life with you. And I think it's a great value. Awesome. Thanks so much, Kyle. Appreciate you showing me it.